from every part of the world you're watching me from welcome so much to my channel my name is lydia if you're new here that is my name and if you're new here too i make cooking videos i make tutorials any kind of tutorial guys i make cleaning videos makeup videos so guys if you love such content please subscribe to my channel don't forget to subscribe i really i would really appreciate it if you did and so in today's video it's a cooking video because i realize most of you love my cooking so today i'm going to show you how i make my mukimo mukimo is mashed potatoes and some peas ama minji and some maize ama mahindi and some spinach or any other green you would love to add so what we, what i do is first, is i first prepare the ingredients which I boil, I boil the peas, I boil the maize and the potatoes mommy, and the spinach and then I mash mommy, them together which I'm going to show mommy, you right away. Yes mommy, baby? Yes? Nini yo. Nini. So as you can see right here, I'm preparing, I'm peeling the potatoes. The potatoes, I'm peeling them and I'm cutting them into half. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to cook them when they are whole. I cut them into half so that they can cook quickly and evenly baby stop now that is dirty so i'm going to wash them my spinach are here the peas are boiling right there not funny ni maji sindo i maji bapa na hata uko maliza sindo i maji kunyo en usijimwagilia kunyo enda ukae pa sitting baby enda ukae sitting ni maliza kazi so i'm cooking the peas you can cook this with some you can cook this with some beef stew or beef stew chicken stew whichever stew you would like but not cereals because obviously you're cooking maize you don't you can't you can't eat mukimo with beans or mukimo with mukimo is mashed potatoes mukimo with you know let's say jahe you can't do that it's not logical so you cook it with some stew whichever stew mostly maybe maybe maybe, maybe you can cook it with some beef beef stew chicken stew maini liver any stew that that has you know anything to do with meat those are ready i'm going to boil them now so i'm going to boil them this here i think this is too much but anyway i think it will be when you mash it it will reduce so always don't forget to add some salt and because we have mm, we have cut the potatoes into small sizes sizes why sizes when you you you, you know when, when you're boiling them don't use a lot of water because the potatoes will be will overcook so guys just add a little bit of water Water should not pass the potatoes level, the level of potatoes like that. Then get a lid. Then we give it maybe it will boil for maybe 20, 20 minutes or 15 minutes because it's not a lot. So I'm going to transfer my peas. I'm going to transfer my peas to the other cooker because it doesn't cook as fast as this. We have the ingredients which are going to use for the stew which is crushed garlic and ginger we have tomatoes we have red onion we have carrot and some black ah sorry red and yellow pepper and some biryani to you know to thicken the paste so what i'm going to do is i'm going to marinate this meat i'm going to cut it into smaller tiny pieces and then i'm going to marinate it so when you're marinating it use a container because when you use a plate the meat will fall off when you're mixing start with the garlic add some salt mix with your hand because it will it is easier that way mix until it's completely well mixed for the spices you can choose to add you know some cumin paprika some you know black pepper if you want this is optional you can just marinate it using some ginger and garlic if you don't have the spices don't forget to add some salt and give it a good mix
so as your potatoes are cooking guys you can add your maize i'm adding my maize at this point because it had been in the freezer so i'm adding it so that it can cook cook and also the peas the peas are ready by now so i'm going also to add the peas in here this is after i've drained the water from the potatoes please note i've drained the water so i'm adding even the peas so that i can give them maybe a little bit of time to mix up and be warm so later we are just going now to mash them give them a good mix mix them together also the water that i drained i've kept it aside because i'm going to add it in the mashed potatoes if they get too hard because we don't want the mixture to be too dry So they're not familiar to you know to mashing or smashing hey that sounds bad to mashing the potatoes so you just use anything you have even if you have that the masher or anything that will make mashing easier for you you can use it at this point i'm just using my wicker which is what i have currently So if it's happened if at some point you feel that the mashed potatoes are too dry you can add a little bit of water or maybe the the the, the water we had drained from the beans from the peas or from the potatoes you add it to make to make mashing easier for you and then you just can mash up to up to whatever consistent or extent you would love your potatoes to be there are some those who don't love it when it's very smooth the meat you have to cook it you, you, you have to golden it with its own okay just put it on the, on the on the pan and heat it let it have that golden brown color let it have that golden brown color remember this is the meat that we had you know put in the we had put in the freezer for it to fridge for it to marinate i've kept it there for maybe 15 minutes So guys at this point now we are going to prepare our meat we are going to fry it using the grains that we had prepared i'm just using the same same pan because it has a lot of garlic paste in it so start by cooking the onion till it turns golden brown and if it's good meat and it has a lot of fat don't use cooking oil let it cook with its own fat because if, if, if it has a lot of cooking oil, then it's going to have a really, really bad, you know, aftertaste. It, you know, it will maybe make you feel nauseated.
also start by adding the carrots because the carrots take a little bit longer to cook you know you cook them for like maybe five minutes or two minutes then add the tomatoes let them cook if you don't like your carrot very you know very hard you can let them cook for a little bit longer and then so give it a good mix so that they can take all the garlic paste that was in the pan and you feel like it's ready then you can add the rest of the the rest is which is red and green pepper and yellow pepper don't forget to add some salt When all have cooked, then, then you can now add your meat and then let it, then cover it, let it first have some moisture to it and then you can mix it later, give it a really good mix. Add a little bit of water. Because our mashed potatoes are dry, we still need to have a little bit of soup to work with. If you have some dania, at this point you can just put them and let the food simmer for a little bit, then it's ready to serve. So the food is ready finally guys thank you for sticking up to the end of this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you love this video please give me a like comment on the comment section below and also you can turn on the notification bell so that every time i post something good you will be notified no further ado let me leave it here so you guys can enjoy and see how the food turned out see you next time on my next video bye bye